A Russian military aircraft has trespassed Finnish airspace for the first time since Finland joined NATO, flying for nearly two minutes and at least 2.5 kilometers inside the Finland's territory. Officials in Finland stated, Russian sources confirmed that it had multiple bombers and missile carriers operating in the Baltic region and flying over the international airspaces. Finnish authorities stated that they are taking the suspected territorial violation seriously and an investigation has been initiated in this regards. Russia and Belarus started second stage of tactical nuclear drills. Russia and Belarus have initiated the second phase of their tactical nuclear exercises. These drills are part of a strategy to maintain readiness for the use of non-strategic nuclear weapons. Berlin is hosting a conference aimed at rallying support for Ukraine's post-war recovery, demonstrating solidarity with Kyiv. Ukrainian military strikes Ukraine has reported damaging Russian air defense systems and striking a high-value Russian Su-57 stealth fighter using drones. Russian forces have reportedly seized control of the villages of Miasozhirika in the Luhansk region and Timkivka in the Kharkov region. At a NATO summit, Latvia highlighted a unified approach to supporting Ukraine, noting Hungary's absence due to its stance on providing arms to Ukraine. China has declared its opposition to unilateral sanctions, especially in light of G7 countries' warnings to Chinese banks against aiding Russia in circumventing Western sanctions. Russian forces have captured the towns and villages of Miasozhirika in Ukraine's Luhansk region and the town of village of Timkivka in the Kharkov region. Russia's defense ministry stated,